2014, we expect there to be $250 billion in the online shopping industry. So obviously you can see it's a growing trend. So if something is here to stay, you can't fight it. 2000, $250 billion is the same as 625,000 gold tours. Then we can make that many gold tours. So what does that mean for us? I believe that the, this growth in online shopping creates a problem for Target because Target has a weak online presence. I believe there are serious consequences to face from this and also serious benefits. I will outline for those for you right now. Target has a very weak online presence. Their unique visitors have gone down both in the past month and in the past year. Also, their site traffic has equally gone down in the past month and the past year. Also, compared to Walmart, the leader of the general discount merchandisers, they are significantly having less unique visitors and a significant lower rank. Also, Walmart has, has raised their unique visitors and raise their rank in the past year. Also, Target is, and Walmart are both significantly trailing behind other online retailers. So the whole general merchandising retailing industry as a whole is trailing behind other online merchandising. So one of the consequences of not adapting and not changing our online presence is what I call the borders. Borders was the market challenger for the book industry. Borders did not adapt to the online change. They did not sell books online in 2008, and they also linked all their online sales to Amazon until that time. So this is what happened to Borders. It's completely gone. It goes to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble was the market leader of their industry, and Barnes & Noble did adapt to the online change. They quickly created the Nook, which is something to combat the Kindle. Kindle. And they also started selling ebooks very, very quickly, getting in there, getting in there first, which is very important. So now I want to talk about the benefits. One of the benefits, if we change our, if we go into the online market now, something I kind of alluded to earlier, is we will get a new market. We could break in. We could be the first general discount merchandiser in the online industry to be as strong as Amazon. Also, if we broke into the industry first, we could get there before Walmart does, which is something that I kind of alluded to with the Barnes & Noble Borders thing. We can take down Walmart. We'd also get so much new, new products, we can raise these and get closer to Walmart. Also, by doing that, we would also increase our international presence. Everyone shops online. International trend, as I said earlier. So it would help us raise our international presence, which is one of our other problems we have right now. We would definitely put our foot in the door and get us ready to break into other countries. So in conclusion, we online shopping is here to stay. There's nothing we can do about it. We can't fight it. Our problem is we have a very, very weak online presence. If we do not adapt and change our online presence, we can have the borders effect, and we could become obsolete, just like borders. But if we do adapt, we can have serious profits through our new market, our closely gap with Walmart, and also our possibility of breaking into the international industry. Thank you so much. I'll end the quote first, actually, from Charles Darwin.